we now have our to do login done here. So it's running perfectly. You can see we have the login, we have the username and the password. And of course, the button here is as beautiful as ever. We are using the material design to our advantage here. Very clean indeed. Okay. All right. So before we go any further here, I'm going to go ahead and add the IDs for each of these elements or controllers that we need so that we are able to then connect them with our code controller. Okay. So I'm going to start with the sign up here. I'm going to go to code. That's very important here. I'm going to give an ID here. The ID is going to be, I call it login sign up button. You notice uh, the convention I use here. I've said this before, but I usually like to prefix everything with the name of the file. So we're talking about the login. So I said login, sign up button. That way I know how to reference things later and know exactly which button belongs to which screen. Okay, so I'm going to say enter. And if you notice also here on the controller, I'm going to go ahead and add the controller name. In this case, I'm going to call this login controller such and we're going to change a few things too let's go back to our code here i'm going to change this to say login controller refactor say login controller as such okay so if you go login controller there it is now there will be a few errors here um, actually we have a lot of errors so this again happens because we haven't added the j phoenix library into this project this is something we should have done before but it's okay we can do now how you do that well you go to file you say project structure and we're going to go to we go to modules okay and i'm going to at the bottom here we're going to go ahead and say add and say library right and we're going to use this j phoenix here so this we've installed this a while back so you should have this already in your library global Okay, and I'm going to say add selected and say apply and okay. All of a sudden, once we've done that, everything is back to normal. Get rid of this grayed out code here. And while I'm here, I'm going to get rid of this one one so that way we don't get that annoying warning. Okay, there we go. So we have now everything looking good. So going back to over here. All right, so I'm going to go back to our scene builder here so we have a controller we've added the id for our sign in button which is the top one here let's do the same to our username here make sure you're under code okay and this is going to be login user name enter and the same this other one here it's going to be login password and enter the button i'm going to say login button as such and enter okay now we have all of these they are working. We're going to save, overwrite indeed. Next, I'm going to say view, okay, and say show sample controller skeleton. I'm going to say show full so I can have everything here. Before we go any further, let's make sure that we have everything we need. And indeed, we do have everything we need here. So I'm going to copy all of these up to here. Go to our controller here and paste it all in. Oops, this always happens. Let's go back. Okay, view, skeleton, right click, copy, try again. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all of these. And we need to import a few libraries here make sure we are importing as you can see it's gonna has to be the j phoenix controls right because that's what we are using so alt enter alt enter alt enter alt enter that's fine and alt enter good so everything is indeed connected now let's go ahead inside here and check and test something i'm going to say login button and now you notice that uh, i'm not once you say login button our login button is hasn't changed color the reason why is because when we go back to our login here 
we need to change the the path to where our login controller is for some reason our IDE here doesn't really is not smart enough in that regard uh, so that when we change things doesn't put the path in the correct order so it's fine we can do that ourselves let's say sample dot controller dot controller like that now if you save this all of a sudden you go here and you say login button notice now this knows we are using this login button which means everything is connected okay what we're here we're gonna say that set on action new handler here but since we know about lambdas we can just go ahead and say ev as such and say enter right so now we have a lambda and all do we have to do here is just put our curly braces and inside here we can just go ahead and say for instance s out login clicked let's save and give it a run and hope for the best as usual give it a run we should be able to see once this runs when say login and login clicked yes it is indeed always a good feeling when things are actually working very nice all right so the next thing we're going to do let's go ahead and open our builder again close this inside of a views here i'm going to create another fx file fxml file and this time i'm going to call this add item okay there we go we have uh, add item and i'm going to go ahead and open this with open with scene builder item there now i have should have two instances of scene builder open which is fine because i may need to borrow a few things here from our scene builder all right so let me go ahead and do due diligence here first thing i'm going to do is go to layout make sure this is actually the preferred width it's 700 just like the previous one all right so let's go ahead and put a anchor pane here and make sure that it's 700 okay just like the previous one let's add another anchor pane at the top here okay let's give it background color to the same color that we used earlier here so I'm going to add properties style background as such there we go looking good I'm going to put our label at the top here go label is going to say to do change color to white like that a little bit bigger I think maybe 24 like this let's make it center very nice looking good all right so this one here what I'm gonna do this is gonna be the ad so it's gonna be a very simple one so it's gonna be let's put a text another label in the middle here in fact sweep the bottom there This is going to be no tasks for today. Yet. All right. Let's make it perhaps maybe 14. That would look good. The color is good. We're going to center it. And then we're going to put a an icon button here at the top. In fact, let's move this to the top here. 
let's find an image view. The beauty of designing, right? Let's make it smaller, perhaps. So we have that now. Let's go ahead and add an image. Notice that we already have these assets that we added. It's going to be add. Let's go find the add icon. Seems like we don't have it, which is indeed problematic. So cancel. Let's find add. Let's go to our material here. Say add. Let's use this one here. We want it to be black. Okay, so it's downloaded and I put in our folder already. You can see now I have add icon. Let's now reference it and get it. So assets should have, okay, let's perhaps save this. Let's try again. Let's go to our, let's see if the add is we need to refresh this. Let's go ahead and refresh. I'm going to rebuild this whole app because things are not syncing for some reason. Okay, let's try again. All right. So actually what we need to do, let's go back to our, we need to add into our assets. This was on a different folder. So I'm going to copy this. And do as such. All right, there we go. <laughs> okay, so we're going back to our scene builder here. Let's go ahead and add that button. And there we go. Icon add. Open. And indeed, you can see it's looking. Oops. Okay. Let's start over. There is the add. And there it is. Click on that and let me put it in the middle, just like that. Very cool, very cool. Let's go ahead and uh, do a little preview here to see how this looks. Ay, 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 very nice. No tasks for today yet to do. Very cool. Okay, looking good. Let's make this a bit, a bit bigger. Maybe put it over there in the middle. And that's going to be probably, let's see, there. Make it 18. As such. Okay. This text color, instead of black as such, let's make it. That color is probably better. No task for today yet, and our button is there. Perfect. Good. So, the idea here, when they log in first time, we're going to show this screen here saying that they don't have any tasks, right? If, so next I'm going to go to code here, click on the button. I'm going to add an ID because that's very important. Uh, this is going to be add button. So okay. And make sure that we have our controller class here. The controller class is going to be called add item controller which we have to create. Let's go inside of our controller here. Add item controller such. Let's go back. Now we have our add item controller. It's an image view. All right, so we let's give it a little preview here. And there we go. Very cool. So there we go. We have our image view here, which we'll use as a button. So users can add items to their to do list. Alright, so I'll see you in the next video.